Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey, this is Red Color, and this is the reading for the collective for the month of June 2022. <laughs> it's going so quickly, I didn't even know what year it was. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer <clears throat> IET, which is healing modality which can help you to move energy. All the information is below. I have a beautiful website where I have handmade t-shirts, handmade scarves, et cetera, et cetera. Please check it out. Um, I have a series called Tarot Tuesdays, which goes up every Tuesday where I have a guest and we discuss one card a week in order. I don't just pick random cards. And um, if you uh, mem uh, members have access to the weekly readings, that are organized by sign. And, uh, you know, check out the rest of the stuff on the channel. I have, there's a lot going on. All right. So it's almost uh, my initial thing before I even begin is like, it's going to be a busy month. It's going to be a really, I feel like it's going to be the busiest month of the year, actually. So maybe it's because I've had too much coffee. <laughs> If you hear background noise, I'm sorry. Um, uh, the place that I'm at, if uh, there's always noise. So, therefore, month of June, I'm moving. I don't know where, but I'm moving. Okay. Let's see what's going on. One, interesting, two. Three, wow, wow. Okay, so we begin wow. All right, the high priestess. The high priestess, this is really, what a month. Okay, so we, be, we begin with the high priestess, strength and the wheel of fortune. Big deal. Okay, this is what's going on in my humble interpretation. So the high priestess is the one who creates, right? She creates out of the ether. She creates out of the dark and the light, you know? Um, and it's, it's really, you know, both of these, both of these are really the divine feminine coming through and um, creating something new, creating something really brand new. Um, this is a fascinating card. So for me, the strength card is really like the essence of the divine feminine, the divine mother in a way. Say, you know, like petting the lion, the lion is us, the lion is uh, sort of our base selves, our, our selves that, you know, want to scream and yell and be in charge and be assertive and be aggressive and, and lead and, you know, so the, and, what happens in the strength card is really fascinating. It, it's like the divine feminine comes through, the loving, divine, comforting mother comes through and says, oh, little lion, oh, little lion, I love you, right? And the lion's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> And what happens is it's through her love and her comfort and her understanding and her acceptance that the lion is tamed and the energy of uh, our, our like ego energy is tamed and directed and directed in a way that is uh, more productive, more loving, more focused, more um, able to get things done. Really interesting really interesting because you know this is also it's the card of leo right so leo is really the essence of leo is about leadership you know one of the real basic essences of, of the leo energy is about leadership right leo rules the heart leo is uh, king david and um if one is guided by the loving energy of spirit and, well, what, no, what I really want to say is a true leader allows him or herself to be led. 
a true leader allows themselves to be led. It's not about like, this is my way and this is what I want. And I don't really care what happens in the kingdom because I'm the king and I'm with the biggest castle in the world, right? It's more like, what is the best and the most um, long lasting, the most secure, the most loving thing I can do for my kingdom, right? And our kingdom is really our lives, our, um, the people around us, how we live, how we make money, how we uh, comfort ourselves, how we comfort others. Like that's the kingdom. It's much bigger than, well, you know, I have to have the biggest castle in the whole world. And um, I'm going to put on Instagram <laughs> and make everyone jealous. <laughs> so it's more, this is like an evolved sense of Leo. See what I'm saying? So this is what's being created, right? This is what's being creative out of the, uh, created out of the union of the dark and the light, right? Which is sort of mysterious. And here it comes and it helps us evolve. It helps us evolve. So it helps us uh, like, um, it's almost like a graduation almost like a graduation and this is the end so it's the end of maybe an out of control ego hmm. interesting so this card you know the four i always feel that with that card it's like i'm not willing to settle i'm not willing to settle. i'm not going to do what i used to do i'm not going to take these um I'm not willing to settle. I want something bigger. I want, I'm not going to just grab the first shiny thing kind of energy. Uh, because my, it, it rained here last night and uh, my cards are, um, not, they're not damp, but they're, they feel it. Okay. Because I, you know, I'm following my instinct right? And I'm going to stand on my own two feet. Like maybe this was it. Maybe this was like an easy way to do something from, you know, coming from the outside, but you're like, I, I think I understand. And I have this, right? I, I think I, I can stand on my own two feet. I think um, I can rely on my own talent, my own vision. Mm, here comes the moon, really interesting. All right. This, so the moon is a really oddball card. It, you know, it's about intuition, but it's also about reflection. It's about reflection. And it's also about uh, illusion sometimes. Mm. Let me get the King of Cups. I love the King of Cups. Okay, this is what actually, now that more cards come up, you know, like more, it gets reinterpreted. So here, there's like this gift and you're, you know, part of your energy is like, I got this, I can handle it on my own. It's almost like a gift coming and you're like, I got this, I, you know, uh, you know, I'm good. it's like a little bit me, me, me. So the, the lion has not quite been tamed yet. Okay. The lion hasn't really completely been tamed. And it, it's like spirit is saying, yeah, it's time to like really tame it and end this. And then here's a gift, you know, that will heal you and give you intuition. And you're like, you know, I could be on my own. I could do my own thing. But actually... Maybe, you know, it's like reflect on it. And then here comes the gift again. Here's the gift of intuition. Here's the gift of healing. Here's the gift of um, diplomacy. This is also an interesting card in that. Um, I, it's, 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 this is such a fascinating card. 
because he's been he's sitting in troubled water right he's sitting in troubled water but here he is as calm as calm can be and offering a gift anyway so like this is the energy of i don't think it's an outside person i think it's us or you um or you know if you're twins both of you <laughs> um saying you know i've been through trouble i've had emotional turmoil and this is the gift that's offered through it because there's no mistake you know sometimes when we go through hard times it's like oh why me and it's like because you know there was something to be gained that's why you know begin something new building an oasis in the desert And I, yeah, this is interesting because this, this is balance. I think you're going to be able to balance the energies. So the energy of my ego, of uh, pride, of pride, you know, it's like, well, no, no, I got this. I don't really need any help. And then help arrives and you're like, uh, uh, but I, I think you're going to be able to incorporate it to be clear. To be, you know, to get clarity, to get abundance, to be. So I feel like it's almost like there's this emotional component of oneself that you're going to be able to access. It's, you know, what it is. It's almost like the. Um, just like I talked about. Like this is the loving mother energy, the loving, comforting energy, all that. Um, I almost feel like there's a sense of you comforting yourself. You know, you maybe, I don't know, I don't really want to say looking back, but really having an understanding of where you've been, what you've been through, the difficult things that you've um I, I, there's a word I don't want to use that word that you've experienced let's say and an acknowledgement of it and this sense of there was something to be gained from that and then and there's a sense of compassion for yourself and for your life and for your there's a sense of compassion and diplomacy and sort of like the self comforting um, energy, which is really powerful, really powerful. It's a self comforting energy of saying, rest a little, rest a little. You've been through a lot, you're really strong. You're really, um, look at what you've come through. Um, I love you. I love you. Have a cookie. <laughs> Take a break. It's okay. It's almost like your higher self is coming through and rebalancing you. Really, or, or your guardian angel, or both. You know, if maybe they're separate, maybe they're together. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I think it changes all the time. To tell you the truth, it's kind of like. Um, sometimes I think like these ways that I think about something and, and like, oh, well, I could see it in front of me and then I touch it and it's like fog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's coming through. This is really interesting. So um, this is another two choices. I, I always feel with that card, like those are her antennae. She's sitting still in a sense of balance but her eyes are blinded and it's like maybe that's okay because sometimes when we're like if we cut out one sense the other senses become stronger and that's the way I, that i feel like there's this real sense of intuition with this card this real sense of um you know I, i'm not necessarily going to see that but i'm going to feel it or i'm going to hear it or i'm going to sense it I feel like that's the energy, you know, it's like uh, what I was talking about. It, it's like a slow mo. It's like hanging out at the train station. 
And even though you can't see the train, maybe you could feel like the station rocking a little bit, or you can tell by the way that the other people are on the, uh, the platform, like the train is a coming, right? Because everyone's getting ready, everyone's getting, you know, they're che rechecking their luggage, they're putting on their makeup, you know, like that, like that. There's this sense of it's, it's, it's on its way. Right, it's on its like that's that's how I'm feeling about this whole thing. Yeah, interesting. So here we are, the part of the past. It's almost like it's, there's a there's a sense of innocence. There's a sense of innocence and of uh, gift giving, and of childhood a sweet sense of childhood that is coming back to gift you it, it it's almost like i you know i always say almost like i i i, I hate that i mean it's better than cursing way i usually do because it's youtube so i don't i really try not to i really try it's really hard um Oh, now I remember I always wanted to play an instrument. You know, when I was little, I tried to play an instrument and it didn't really work out, but I've always really wanted to. And now that memory is flooding back or that desire is flooding back. I feel like there, there's like this, well, there's this innocent and healed part of your soul that's, that's re- that's coming back into you. That's what it feels like. Wow. Wow. I mean, if this is for the collective, we're all going to be running around with our children's gloves. <laughs> with balloons. I guess balloon sales are going to be way up this month. <laughs> um, and sometimes, you know, a lot of times, like if you're doing all this spiritual work, you know, it's like all this stuff to let go of all this. Um, oh, I had this bad experience of childhood, blah, blah, blah. I don't feel like that's what's coming through. I feel that what's coming through is this sense of innocence and the sense of kindness and the sense of love and the sense of uh, almost naivete that's coming back to be reincorporated. Wow. 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 That's what I think is going on. Uh, I never know what's going to happen when I do a reading. So the return of innocence, basically, you know, but, you know, it's one thing to be innocent when you're three or four years old, right? You'll get to the car with anybody. You'll take candy from anybody. It's another thing to be uh, already an adult, already having experience, and then gleaning that sense of wonder, that sense of um, curiosity, that sense of openness back. But already with the experience, sort of like what I was talking about with him, with the experience of saying, well, yeah, I want to meet new people, but, you know, if I meet somebody who, you know, is obviously, I don't know, a grifter, I'm not going to get in the car with them, but I can have a pleasant exchange, right? I can, like, maybe play a little, a little verbal game, right? A little bit like that. Uh, I think that's what's going on. Why not? Yeah, you're going to drop the burden. There's this energy of that. This is what the evolution is about. That's what the secret was about. That's what this, yeah. Um, you're going to drop the burden and end this like, oh, you know, no, no, no. I, I don't really want any cookies, you know, because you know, I'm an adult now. It's like a cookie. A little bit like that. Have a cookie. Get on the swing. Uh, fly a kite like that 
like that. So <laughs> I went to summer camp, right? It's like a summer day camp. And I, I really didn't fit in with the rest of the group, you know, because, you know, I'm a big queen, whatever. Anyway, so I remember we had this sort of competition or something. And like this group, you know, it's, it's incredible. Even in camp, they teach you to compete. Anyway, I guess it was color war. I, maybe it was color war, right? And who can fly a kite? I couldn't fly a kite. I was like, I mean, right? so we get this kite. <laughs> I'm running with the kite. I don't know how old I was. I'm, I don't think, maybe I was 10, something like that. I think younger, actually. Pretty sure younger. So I get the kite, and uh, I don't know what I'm doing, because I've never flown a kite before in my life. <clears throat> but it's like, whatever, yeah, I could fly a kite. Because I there was nothing else I could do. Or really wanted to do. So we're getting the kite and the kite, you know, it sort of goes up, it sort of doesn't, and it's like swooping down. Everyone has to duck. You know? <laughs> it was so like ridiculous. It was almost like, uh, you know, it's like a sitcom, but that's my memory of flying a kite, you know. The other memories of like really getting it up in the air, I don't really have any memories of that. I do have a memory of it like swooping down and um so it's kind of like there's an innocence and like yeah i'll try something new you know whatever i'll tell you i did it but i didn't really do it so there's kind of an energy of that right like eating something really sticky and it getting all over your face and all over your clothes like you know and and en like enjoying it not being like oh my god i'm dirty like yeah i'm dirty you know whatever you know like a water balloon fight it's like that that's the energy okay so dive in dive in you know maybe next time i'll be wearing like a, a clown wig and a red nose i don't know blessings to you blessings enjoy june <laughs>